are Team USA. We're Team Scotland! Yeah! yeah. Come on, freedom! Hi, I'm Randy Tantlinger, founder of the Team USA versus Team Scotland Amateur Golf Championships. Amateur golfers will gather from across the United States this August in historic Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Amateur golfers, you can compete in one of five flights, no USGA GIN handicap required. Win your flight at the 2024 Team USA National Championships here in Gettysburg this August and you will win a trip to St. Andrews, Scotland to play against Team Scotland. This August, golfers from all across the United States will gather here in beautiful and historic Gettysburg, Pennsylvania to play in the 2024 Team USA National Championships. Amateur golfers, you do not need a USGA GIN handicap to play in one of five flights. Win your flight here in beautiful Gettysburg, Pennsylvania this coming August, and you'll win a trip to beautiful St. Andrews, Scotland. When golfers gather from across the United States here in historic Gettysburg this August to play in the Team USA National Championships, not only will they be playing for a dream trip of a lifetime to represent Team USA, but will gather also to raise funds for the United Way of Adams County and the Green Beret Foundation. When you come to Gettysburg this August to play in the Team USA National Championships, we encourage you to bring your friends and family. You want to explore historic Gettysburg. You know, the Irish Brigade Memorial behind me right now is just one of thousands of memorials on this hallowed ground. The two famous generals of the battle, General George Meade of the Union Army and General Lee of the Southern Army, General Lee brought his army well up across the Virginia line, deep into Pennsylvania, for what he thought would be the final and decisive battle for the Confederate victory in the Civil War. General Meade had other ideas, and so did the Union troops. For three days, the battle raged here in Gettysburg. We encourage you to spend the weekend in Gettysburg, play in the golf tournament, also explore the battlefield, historic downtown, and all the monuments that make, well, Gettysburg a very special place and very hallowed ground. <music>
two, one. Let's go. Bill? All right, hey guys, right now there are no cart restrictions on the course, which means you can drive on the fairways. We'd appreciate it today if you try to keep it at 90 degrees. 30 feet from the greens, please don't drive on top of the sand traps. It makes them lift, clean, and place, okay? With your fairway shots, you clear on bunker, conduct yourselves like gentlemen. Any USGA rule conflicts, go to your app first. Just, just four holes in. It feels like I jumped in a pool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, this is what the seat looks we're like. One. Can't believe we're doing this uh, for a chance of, to go to Scotland. It's worth it. Totally worth it. Hopefully, we'll see you guys here next year and uh, keep you updated with the round. What's up, guys? So we're in the bat beyond the battle museum, and we're about to do the awards ceremony now. Five winners are going to Scotland. Fabulous museum, newest museum in Gettysburg. Gives you a sense of what the civilians went through in Gettysburg. Thank you everybody that came. I hope you had a wonderful time. I know you came a long, long way to get here. Uh, enjoy Gettysburg tomorrow. Again, please come back to Gettysburg next year for our Team USA National Championships. These guys grinded away in Latrobe, my hometown last year, Glengarry then Latrobe Country Club, and guys, I think we became, shut up, you two morons. <laughs> this is what it was like in Scotland. <laughs> no, no, you have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. You, you were in our building. building. Yeah, then go ahead. Yeah. When your yeah. dad's away. <laughs> shut up! <laughs> Why do you think you I had no stuff? idea, dude. If you no. know. Remember I told you earlier in the today, my, one of my favorite sayings is Mark Twain said, a stranger is a friend I have not met yet. And to me, golf, I've met so many great friends all over the world. I've had a blast from Thailand to Africa to Scotland with these knuckleheads. They did not know each other at all. And we all know things could go horribly wrong with strangers, right? Uh, I think the four of them are now best friends now. And uh, guys, thank you. We had a blast. You were great first year champions. The first year champions, please give it up for them. So um, it was a blast. I can only hope that next year's winners that are going to be announced now will have a, such a good time. I mean, you have dinner in a castle with a baron, Jimmy. Doesn't get any better than that. Right? Doesn't. And you got to pass the port to the left and it can never come back. Yeah. It has to go all the way around. He taught us that. It's amazing. Carl Michael taught us that. The port on the wine that we will enjoy in the castle. The pheasant that they will harvest from the field that day and feed us that evening. It's tremendous. And when we take our picture, guys, with the new team on the Swilcan Bridge in front of the RNA building, you're going to pinch yourself because it will be real. And you'll be standing where old Tom Morris, John Daly, and Jack Nicholas have stood. The St. Andrews flight with a score of 102. Mr. Dave Peters, come on out.
doing everything tonight. Awesome. Good, work. <laughs> Good work. Good work today. Hey, thank Come you. on out. Thank you. Jeff. Well, you do the next one as well. Yeah, it's Well done. Thank you. Mr. Peters. Okay. Awesome. With the Presswick flight. Presswick is the oldest golf course uh, that opened, that hosted the Open Championship, the first golf course, Presswick in Scotland. All right. In our Nicholas flight. Nicholas flight. Of a score of 83. He's something else. I can't wait to drink with this boy in Scotland. <laughs> Derek F. Yeah! And a boy! Golf changed my life and brought me back to Michigan. It made me a better person. I can't believe this. <laughs> Put on an awesome event. I like this. This, is, this goes out to everybody. Jabroni Golf, let's go, baby. This is great. I don't even know what to say. Stay up here. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm just. Dude, it's consumed by my So, without further ado, winner of the Palmer Watson flight. With a score of 79 in this weather. Yeah. That wow. Impressive. Good score. Mr. Denny Schmidt. Denny, Denny Schmidt. Good. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. You for baby. You're welcome. Well done. Chris, I'm going to dismiss you. Get over here. Dismissed from last year's championship oh, team. Oh, oh. Turn shut. Thank you. Dismissed. Thanks, sir. Get out. Nobody <laughs> liked you anyway. <laughs> Someday. Someday. Um, one of my favorite cats, not that I don't love all my boys, but sometimes you get a, a special one you got to take care of. Uh, Jim was our winner at the Mohegan Sun Casino. Hi, how you doing? We'll talk later. <laughs> how you, numb yet? Still? Yeah. yeah. So, Jimmy, I appreciate you, man. Love you, buddy. Um, this year's old Tom Morris flight winner, the handicap of one to five. Uh, again, I don't require your handicap. I require your honesty, right? We require your honesty. We as Team USA players require your honesty. This guy came back and said, Tank, I gotta tell you, I got better. Because Lawler inspired me to get better. Well, he retired too. That's a lot. <laughs> well, after 27 years yeah. in the how many years? Well, he does play like golf now. After 20 golf. some years in the Air Force, his handicap got better. Our old Tom nice Morris flight game. back on the team. Yeah. Let's go, Chris Garrard. Yeah. Hey, I have one thing to say. I have one thing to say. This dude. I mean, everybody always talks about driving and everything. This dude won the golf tour. He putted fantastically. I mean, he made putts, and that's how you win golf tournaments. You make great putts. Chris, sir, well done. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of fun. Well done. I thank all of you sincerely. You raised money for two great charities. You helped put Destination Gettysburg a little bit on the golf map of the world. And I hope you had fun. I hope you made friends. You persevered through some bad weather. Uh, curse Hurricane Ophelia. But I thank you, and I will leave you with, again, once again, the words of Mark Twain. A stranger is a friend I have not met yet. So I hope you've made friends, and we've become friends, and you're all invited to Gettysburg next year again. So really well done. Thank you all. Hey, thanks for joining us for the 2023 Team USA National Championships from Gettysburg. We had some great fun, and I got to really tip my hat to our competitors as they played their way through some of the worst conditions I've ever seen. So if you'd like to play for your chance to win the greatest plies in amateur golf, a trip to play for Team USA in St. Andrews, Scotland against Team Scotland, log on to usascotlandgolf.com, usascotlandgolf.com. You can play in a local qualifier next year in 2024, or you can buy directly into the Team USA National Championships scheduled for next August. Go Team USA! Scotland, we're coming for you! Yeah, I mean, for me, 
to be able to go out there and be competitive, a lot of average golfers don't want to do tournaments, the city tournaments and stuff, because you got those guys shooting three or fours, oh, I can't compete. Well, when they're flighted like this, you have an opportunity to go out and compete against people that are at your skill level. Scrambles, I'm over scrambles. I want to go and compete. I take golf seriously. Maybe I'm not under par and all that, but I can go out there and compete with people like myself. And There's nobody gonna... like you, I assure you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, honestly, I, I love what you're doing, and there needs to be more people doing this type of thing because I felt and I lived a pro golfer experience today and competed against other people who were going for the same prize, which no other amateur golfer in this world is going to have the opportunity to win what I just won today. You know, I'm going to go ahead and pop one of our sponsors' beer here, a Heineken Light, because to win the championship of this magnitude, Mr. Afton, what do you got to say? You're very excited. Have you ever won this size of a prize before? Yeah, absolutely not. Um, I mean, it's absolutely, it blows my mind just to be in the a tournament as an amateur golfer, to have an opportunity to win. The flighted thing that we did here was awesome. Uh, it felt like five holes left, I felt like a pro golfer, had to make those shots, and I made them. My last hole, I piped it down the middle, hit a 197, seven, seven yard seven wood, chipped it on and parred out, and I was sat there and I was like, I think I got it. I think I got it. I was like, I have a good chance. It was an unbelievable feeling. My chest has been beating since. It was overall, to go out there and be able to represent America, I absolutely, this is a dream come true. Golf saved my life. He showed up late because of the rain and, well, just some other factors in there, but it didn't seem to bother your game. You're still smiling now, but even though yeah. it was raining cats and dogs out there, you're just a happy guy. It, it was great out there. We were rooting each other on, had a couple nice putts that went in, found the fairway most of the time. That really helped me out today. So The weather didn't bother you? Uh, well, it did, but, you know, I um, kind of took that into account, uh, picked my spots on the golf course to lay up a little bit in some areas just to help out, and it paid off. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Thoughts of St. Andrews. What is your motto? Uh, Have you ever been to Scotland? Never. Never. Uh, my father-in-law has, and he came back with all kinds of pictures and stuff. Loved it. I mean, it's just the history there is going to be amazing to see and experience um, and represent America. Very, How great is that? Well, let me tell you something. The Scots are going to be watching this video, and they take it uh, very, very serious. You know, everybody dreams of being able to get that picture on uh, standing on the swill can bridge in front of the R and A building. And I can tell you the first time I ever took it, my knees were shaking. Mm -hmm. And thoughts of that, you're gonna stand where old Tom Morris stood. He probably built that bridge for all I know. <laughs> they used to run sheep over that bridge is what it was about. Arnold Palmer stood there. Mm -hmm. Watson. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing Tiger recently when he played there, he went to the bridge and stopped and did his final kind of goodbyes as if he'd never be back. Just so much history. Team USA National Championships here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. You know, last year we were in my hometown, Arnold Palmer, Mr. Rogers' hometown of Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Golfers from all over the country are here, guys from Arizona. Sure. Did you meet the fun guys from New yeah, Hampshire? Yeah. yeah. We got oh. guys from Michigan, Massachusetts have come in here. Mississippi players have come from. Funny the way the world works. Latrobe, Pennsylvania is how many miles from Mount Pleasant, PA? About 15. About 15 miles, and we've never met before. No. Absolutely. How did you find out about our tournament? Through the Glengarry trial. Yeah. So that was where I uh, picked up the idea and I checked into it and thought it was a great idea to have an opportunity to come on here and do my thing, right? Right. So how's the experience been in Gettysburg? Wonderful. A little wet, but uh, nothing we can't handle. I'm glad we're not playing tomorrow. Yeah, with the hurricane bearing down on us, Ophelia, it's, it is going to hit Gettysburg like a right-hand George Foreman punch tomorrow. Jeez, so it was tremendous effort by your part in those wet conditions today. Uh, what did you do to win? This goes where I'm from, Michigan. We only have about two and a half months of summer. So you're playing in a lot of cold weather, rainy weather, snowy weather. Um, so growing up there wasn't too far off, you know, understanding what you can and can't get away with. Right? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Right? Like Eddie from Arizona, this was a, a shock, culture shock to him today. Yeah. So when I say Scotland, when I say St. Andrews, what comes to your mind? Uh, comes to mind is you said earlier that we lost last year. Uh, nice, I like that attitude. We'd like to uh, 
bring that back this way and hopefully get a win over there. All right, our five national champions have been crowned. Jimmy Wolf, you were in La Trobe with us last year, and we were all so close. Now you made it to Scotland. How's it feel? Amazing. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable. It really is. Taking the wife to Scotland with you? Oh, for sure. That's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, yeah, I don't think she let me go myself. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's amazing. What was the best part of your game? I mean, it was a torrential downpour out there today. I really don't know. I just stayed consistent with the rain. It was just, there was water everywhere. It was everywhere. It was everywhere. Did you see Noah's Ark going by? Yeah. Hey, you know, a couple of giraffes went, hello. Yeah, going down the little stream there, down the middle of the fairway. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to have a good time in St. Andrews. Any thoughts? Like, when I say St. Andrews, what comes to mind? Oh, I mean, just going over here just to see the old course and just to stand on the bridge and everything. Just going to be amazing. Wonderful. I can't wait. <laughs> Jim Wolf, Presswick winner? Yes. Outstanding. Thank you. All right, so we've had golfers come in from all across the country, New Hampshire, Vermont. You ever been to Vermont? No. Well, maybe you can go someday. Well, Michigan. Yes. And, of course, you came in from? Arizona. Wow. Wow. A long way to come to play. Uh, can't beat it. I mean, it's golf. Why did you decide to come play in the Team USA National Championships? Without too much detail. I had issues. Uh, a few years back and they taught me that I can live one day at a time and this is just one day that I'm six feet six feet above ground yeah, yeah. and we have 12 more days to go on our vacation and this is the middle of our trip basically well, and, uh, and you called me you emailed me in May and said I'm coming I'm coming from Arizona and I'm like what Arizona all the way to Gettysburg to play golf, and I guess you hurt your shoulder a couple years ago and needed some motivation yeah, to, to uh, play? Yeah, nine years ago, um, I got hurt. I had uh, four surgeries, a titanium shoulder, and I didn't do much. Uh, I was, no one wanted to hire me for work because of my age and my shoulder. And golf, honestly, I bought brand new clubs and I went out to the driving range and I shanked the first six balls I hit. <laughs> and Call those chili peppers. Yeah. And for a whole year and a half my golf clubs sat in the golf room and my wife goes, you're not as young as you used to be. You can't do what you did when you were younger. Just go out and enjoy life and play your golf that you enjoy. So she's the one that got me looking into a tournament because I did a lot of uh, tournaments in California uh, when we lived there and a couple weeks later I told her oh I found a tournament and she thought it was in Arizona or California and then I turned around and go no it's Gettysburg Pennsylvania she goes yeah I told you to find a, a tournament but not that far away yeah right but Arizona to Gettysburg's a little bit of a trip. 2,500 miles. <laughs> right, right. So, um, well, we ended up uh, doing it, and I got motivated where if I went to done this, I went to play the 12 to 14 to 20 uh, rounds this year. Awesome. You know, I probably would have played a couple times, and that would have been it. And the Gettysburg experience, you've enjoyed it? Oh, yes. I mean, my wife called my son. She goes, Dad is playing in the rain. Even when I played a lot, I would never play. Well, you're in Arizona. You don't yeah, get it. Well, even California, but I would not. I hated the rain. <laughs> what? Oh, you got it today. Oh, uh, definitely. But So there's a hurricane, Othelia has uh, unfortunately stopped our second day of play and it's bearing down on Gettysburg so we had to do it after one round today and the guys that went through and played just remarkable that they played through basically a hurricane the, the perimeters of it saw a couple trees fell on the course and we're glad you came from Arizona to Gettysburg and good luck and I met a lot of great people here including you Doc, tell me why you decided to play in the Team USA versus Team Scotland, Amateur Golf Championships, Team USA National Championship in Gettysburg. Why? Hey, we are, this is our hometown, and we want to represent somebody from the hometown for the Team USA. I've never been to Scotland, and we thought this is going to be a great opportunity to represent the team 
be a part of the team and I represent hometown and our national monument here in Gettysburg. Wonderful. And the guys you played today with, you have a good time with them, the caliber of golf. How was that experience? Yes, everybody seems to know the golf and golf game and the rules well and at the same time know how to have fun. So that was the first ingredient that we had. Despite terrible weather, we survived, played and had fun. And uh, yeah, it was amazing. The course was tough. Um, we managed to survive the day uh, somehow, but yeah, it was great. Amazing, I never had something like this witnessed so close you know, to, to, um, to enjoy a you know, pristine morning here in the rain. But yeah, it was uh, something I've never witnessed before. It was, uh, it was great. Yeah. So we won a tournament in, uh, in Haverhill, Massachusetts uh, at Renaissance Country Club. Um, and we came down from New Hampshire, Massachusetts, ourselves, and, and honestly, we just thought it was going to be a fantastic opportunity to have the opportunity to win another entry into a, a chance to go to Scotland and play against Scotland and so on. How's the experience so far, despite the weather? How about the opening ceremonies? Despite the weather, it was good. It's a good ceremony. Funny host. <laughs> I, I think, I, I mean, again, it's, it's all about the opportunity. It's a kind of like an exciting thing to think about, plan for, and get involved in, and then, yeah, the weather sucked, but. It was a uh, emotional experience, definitely, before the round started. I think it set, like, a, an even more exciting tone to the day and the event. Oh, man, it's nice to, it's nice to be around honorable people. It's nice to be around um, folks who, uh, it was definitely a service-oriented um, group and um, appreciated the time that was taken to thank and take moments uh, to um, thank the fallen, to thank folks who were with us who served, and um, I think it was class act. The conditions were soaking. We had 35 mile an hour winds, um, but I don't think I have played a better round with better group than um, than I was paired with today. Uh, it ended today, the strokes were what they were, but the day ended when we were on 16 coming into 17, and the winds were gusting so much as we're chipping onto the green, our final green, we had at least probably a 60 foot tree come down within 50 feet of us in between 16 and 17 to end the round. And that was, that was the way we capped it off. Everybody was in high spirits the whole day. And um, Tom and Sean and uh, Steve, who I played with, were gentlemen the entire round. Didn't have any issues with um, calls and judgment. And it, it was a pleasure. I hope to play again with you all. And thank you, Randy, for the opportunity. <laughs> what, now, you have never played tournaments all the time. Why did you decide to come here and play tournament? I've always been interested in getting the competition. I love playing sports, and I picked up golf a couple of years ago, and I'm finally getting to a point where I feel comfortable with it. So I want to take my skills and compete, test them against other people. I love it. You know, and that's one of the reasons we invented or created the Team USA event. There's plenty of tournaments for guys who are one in five handicaps with USGA handicaps. We don't require the handicap here. We got some fail safes built in. So imagine you're holding the sword on Sunday, but April 2024, you're standing on the Swilcan Bridge in St. Andrews. That's what would that be? Cool That's the dream right there. Right? Yeah, I would love that. Everybody wants that picture on their office wall. I've been there. Well, I wish you best of luck, all right? We'll catch up with you during the round. Thanks, really appreciate it.